Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video we're going to demonstrate a feature from our latest release PointWise version 18.3 R2 and that's the ability to import boundary conditions and volume conditions from grid files. The link to the newest release is in the description. I suggest you download the newest release as there are other features that uh, can can prove uh, immensely useful moving forward. This new feature is done in an effort to support our grid visualization and adaptation efforts. When the PointWise viewer is available, users will be able to import grids from a variety of sources for examining their quality. Importing the boundary and volume condition information will allow users to inspect the mesh in much more detail to ensure that conditions have been applied correctly and allow for more adjustments to be made to the mesh prior to re-export. In addition to this, being able to import grid data with boundary and volume conditions allows PointWise to be used for mesh adaptation even if the mesh was not generated within PointWise. Here is a list of solvers that PointWise will support the importation of boundary and volume condition data out of the box. The user, however, can extend this capability to any other solver using our plugin SDK environment. Moving to PointWise, I'll walk through the steps for uploading or importing a file uh, that contains both boundary and volume condition data. If we go to File, Import, Grid, we'll import this Fluent file here. You want to make sure and have the Import Boundary and Volume Condition Data box checked. So we'll hit OK. Now let's check to see if the boundary condition and volume condition information was preserved. So if we go to CAE and we let, uh, check the Set Boundary Conditions, you'll notice that all the boundary conditions are set correctly. Both the type and the name have been preserved. Let's take a look at the volume condition. You'll notice that the volume condition has also been preserved and this block is set up to be a fluid block. This is important when doing optimization work as you don't have to uh, continually rewrite or reestablish those boundary conditions, taking one more step out of the loop, uh, making for a much more efficient optimization loop. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.